and I'm going to show you how to bring in a file from Photoshop that is a rigged character file and show you how to um, set it up for After Effects. So this Photoshop file is completely rigged. The head is on one layer, the paws, the body, and so on and so forth, which is an important element if you're going to be um, bringing a file in to animate it. We want to test this file so it's ready to work with in an animation. So in this, um, I can test it by hitting Command T on the head and bringing the rotation point to where I want to rotate it, test it by just wiggling it. And I'm just checking to see if everything is right underneath, if there's, if there's any um, thing that's not drawn underneath. But this is exactly the way I want it, so we're going to uh, hit Command period to stop that rotation, and uh, we will save this file. So it's important that this file is saved in the location um, in the folder that's going to be ready for After Effects. I'm going to show you guys how to import a Photoshop file into After Effects. So we're going to start by going to File, Import, File. And I have a folder that's been already made that has my Photoshop file in it. And that's where I also want my After Effects file to be. I'm going to import it as Composition Retain Layer Sizes, not as Photoshop Sequence, and I'll hit Open. We want editable layer styles. We'll say OK. What I'll do to um, set this up is hit Control Composition Settings and set up our file 950 by 600 for this particular one, 300 frames per second, or 5 second max, and we'll say OK. When I double click this, it will make my composition with all my layers in the right order that I want to bring them. Yay! Okay, so the next thing is to be able to um, transform all of our, um, our stuff to fit inside the composition. When I do this, it goes wacko, so we don't want that. Um, one of the ways to work around that is to go to Layer, New, Null, Object. And what we're going to do is actually parent everything to the null object. And then we will scale our null object and it will scale everything together in a nice beautiful way. So Next I'll go to the null object, hit transform, and then I can scale it to make it fit in there. And it's all working perfectly and it's not jumping from the rotation points. Okay. So, next thing I wanted to show you guys is just um, a few quick animation tips. So, one of the things that we wanted to do was to wiggle the tail. And so, what I'm going to do is find my tail layer, and uh, it's right there. And I'm going to zoom in, hit the Z tool for a shortcut there, and we'll take a look at, at how to get our tail to wiggle. Um, there's a couple of different things that you can do. Um, I'm going to first show you um, how to set our rotation point. You see that is our rotation point. If you click on here, you can take that rotation point and put it where you want to put it. So the tail on this character would move from that location. And now when I hit rotation, um, and I'm on the first part of the timeline, and I hit transform, and have to hit the clock in order to start things on our timeline. Then I'll go further down the timeline and rotate. And he's going to be able to wiggle. I've got another keyframe. So let's just see how he wiggles his tail. Hi, little guy. Hi, back to you. So awesome. I've got my little tail wiggling. Um, and After Effects is doing a tween for us. And for this particular project, there's going to be a lot of rotating and moving things in this project. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, we want this little guy to giggle. So he's going to giggle and he's going to kind of wiggle his tail and, and do a tiny little giggle. Um, so the, the way that I um, got the head to giggle was to use some liquify tools. So I'm going to select the head and I want to set that rotation point because I do want it um, to do some wiggling also. But mostly I want to be able to 
um, make this little guy do a little laugh. So I'm going to use the liquify tool. Um, you can actually go over to this effects and presets um, area and type in liquify, which will bring it up um, when you double click it. And, or you could go to effect to store liquify, which is in there too. So on the liquify section, if I hit distortion mesh on, and uh, there is, I'm just arrowing down until I get to it. Um, so I'm starting to get a lot, quite a lot of um, animation sections um, in my timeline. So it's really good when you guys are um, not making a tutorial to have an extended monitor so that you can see all your layers and your composition. Um, if I hit this area down in here, then I'm going to be able to hit the U button, which is our Uber button, and I'll be able to see where in the timeline my keyframe is. Because I want to keep it normal in the beginning, and then make it so that it's, it does its laugh in the, in the second part of the timeline. So for this, I'm going to give it a bulge. We have bulge, we have the push tool, we've got the pucker tool, and this awesome tool, Reconstruct. Um, but for this, I'm going to show you guys the bulge tool. That brush is not big enough, so I'm going to... It's actually called bloat. Oh, so bloated. So here's the brush size. I can move this up or down and uh, give me what I want. I'm going to bloat out his nose. And try to get that mouth to go. There we go. It's, it's trying to render that. That's why it's looking a little bit pixelated. But uh, it will look right. And then I'm also going to do a pucker going to pucker in that part. So um, between those two things, I'll be able to get this little guy to laugh. My RAM preview is, is not working right here. You can see that it's green all the way here, but gray here. So what I'm going to do is bring the RAM preview back and the workspace back. And that scales the workspace. And I'll scrub my timeline and it's not going to play right now, but uh, this is my RAM preview area, and I'll set it to play once and get it to try to go, and after it's done with making itself green, then it will be able to play again. So let's, let's uh, loop back and forth this little guy and see it going. So he's got um, a, a little bit of a laugh, and uh, this is extremely slow. So what I'll do is you can actually move these um, keyframes over, and we want this to go quite a bit over. I'm going to spread this out and actually have this be um, very much faster. So we'll set our RAM preview button or area to there, and check this out. So, see how this looks? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so that's looking great. I'm really uh, pleased with the way that that's, that's turning out. Um, just using the liquify um, tool and the move tool, we've already been able to do quite a bit of work to it. Um, so, we can see that our, our little clock is on and that's why that is working there. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with the way that that's going and uh, really trying to get our character to seem like it's alive. Next, I'll show you a few other things, so stay tuned.